just doesn't take off, he definitely departs. Watch this. Right off the deck into knife edge flight, and there's the wave hello. On the wing, we can see the words Bud Light, Bud Light, as Leo Lounslager has taken to the air. Now, back on the stick, once again, straight up. He will not rest until one maneuver after the other. The outside, half Cuban 8, with the inside snap, coming back down all the way around. The roll, two complete rolls back to the outside position as he pushes the stick forward this time. Gravity forces, trying to force Leo out of the cockpit, held in only by a double set of safety belts. As he comes back in from the left, completing that Cuban 8 right about in here, he'll do two maneuvers combined into one. He will do the loop with a snap roll on top. Right about in here, back on the stick, about three and a half to four Gs. The big round inside Barnstormer's loop. As he gets right about here, the full snap roll from upside down to upside down. Back on the stick once again. Finishing the left side of the loop. Right about here, watch for the double roll. One and two, showing you the great rate of roll. On the way up, the one and a half. Turn roll on the way up as he does on top. Watch this as he does a ballet maneuver called the wingtip pirouette, where he actually spirals around the wing. Now, as he comes back in on the way down, let's watch for the four point hesitation roll, starting and stopping the airplane every 90 degrees of rotation. Here we go into one knife edge, two to the upside down, three to knife edge, and four back to the right side up position. The four point hesitation roll. Now the turnaround will be a half Cuban 8 or 5 eighths of a loop with a stamp and a half on the downside. There's the half Cuban 8. Watch for the stamp and a half back to right side up right about in here. One and a half back to right side up as he comes back in. We will get the square loop or the loop with corners across the bottom. Straight up. That side number one. He holds that position. There's the turn once again. About three and a half G's across the top is number two. The second side of the box complete. The third side straight down. Three and a half G's once again across the bottom, finishing out the very difficult square loop. Now on the way up. Let's watch. One, two, three, and four. All the way around, right side up once again. Back on the stick, into the hammerhead. Five G pull up right about in here. On the way up, four points of a four-point hesitation slow roll. On the way back down, let's watch. Four, the snap and a half. Now as he comes back in from the right, let's watch and count for the eight-sided loop, the big stop sign in the side, or the octagon loop. Across the bottom is number one. Right about there, he holds it. That's number two. There's number three, straight up in the air. Number four is a 45 degree up. Number five is straight across the top. Number six will be the 45 down. Number seven is straight down. And the last one is the last 45. The eight-sided octagon loop or the big stop sign in the sky. Off to the left now. We will get two points of a four-point hesitation roll on the way up. There's one and two. As promised, he holds it there. He'll pull the stick back into his lap right about in here. Coming back down on the 45. We'll watch for the two-and-a-half turn inside snap. Now, when he comes down, then watch for the outside 360-degree Elagon circle. Outside, now watch this. In a knife edge flight, pushing the stick forward, four and a half, five and a half, six G's, trying to force him out of the cockpit. One wing tip towards the ground, the other wing tip up in the air as he completes that circle with the high G forces rolling around after that 360 degree turn. Okay, now the half Cuban 8 off to the right. We'll watch for four points of a four point hesitation slow roll. He will then come outside and do the outside loop or the Waldo Pepper outside loop. Set up for that now. The gear up towards the sky. Leo's head down towards the ground. One, two, three, and four as promised. Now down once again. Pushing the stick forward. This the Waldo Pepper outside loop. Once again, gravity forces trying to get him out of the cockpit. Across the top. Keeping an eye on the horizon. Continues to push all the way across. Finishing out once again to the negative at the same altitude that he started. Now get ready as he turns around and maneuvers off to the left. We are going to get what Leo calls the computer roll. From the left to the right, if you can believe this, in one span of the air show line. He will do an inside double snap, followed by a full roll to the left, followed by a half roll to the right, followed by a half outside snap, followed by a three-quarter roll to the right, and ending up with a three-quarter outside snap. Watch right in here as he slows it up. Get ready for the double snap right about in here. There's the double snap right there. Now watch the roll to the left. Now watch the half roll to the right. Now watch the half outside snap right about in here. Now watch the three-quarter roll all the way around in here. Three-quarter snap right about in here all the way around. A big round of applause for Leo Lonslager in the Bud Light 200 and the computer roll. Only Leo can do that one. Now he will turn around once again, pull the nose of the Bud
Bud Light 200 straight up into the sky and do what we call the torque roll. There it goes, straight up, 90 degrees away from the earth. He starts to roll the airplane. The speed will bleed off. He will continue to roll the airplane as the airplane is reversing itself on the tail and sliding back towards the ground. All the upward speed and momentum is gone. Now he shifts into reverse, still rolling the airplane, still in reverse, still rolling the airplane, holding it up there longer than I've ever seen. And now finally goes upside down once again. What a beautiful torque roll once again. Let's put our hands together for Leo Laudenslager, seven-time national aerobatic champ, world aerobatic champion, but he is not finished yet after the torque roll. Now we'll watch for a quarter roll on the way up. The hammerhead turn, three-quarter roll on the way down. As he comes back in, he will do a down vertical snap and get ready at Air Show Center with your cameras for the Cobra roll. It will happen right about in here. As he points the nose of the airplane up, we'll watch for stick forward. Stick back, stick forward, stick back, stick forward. Now watch, he'll go into the spin. Snap roll, one and two, three snap rolls, four snap rolls, all the way around. Number five holds it in there. You look back up and see the head of the Cobra snake about ready to strike. Leo Lounslager in the Cobra roll, the Bud Light 200 right off the deck. Our thanks to Budweiser and the folks from Anheuser-Busch. Okay, on the way up. He will be coming back down once again and doing a maneuver that was not possible several years ago. Because of the power to weight of these very highly specialized airplanes like the Bud Light 200, he will start a loop across the top of the loop. He'll roll the airplane on its side. He will do knife edge flight or fly on the fuselage across the top and complete the loop to the inside. Okay, there's one third of the loop. Now watch, he'll go to knife edge flight all the way around on the fuselage across the top actually flying across the top of that loop now the quarter turn once again and completes the inside loop right about in here now off to the left he will turn around as he does his 14-minute aerobatic routine. It is the equivalent of a triathlon for an athlete. It is the equivalent of 10 to 12 hours of very intense physical labor. The disorientation, the G-forces, all have their effect on Leo. Okay, coming back down once again. The snap roll on the way down, straight down to the earth. The wheels just a few inches off the ground, pulling about six Gs right about in here. Now watch, as he goes straight up, he rolls the airplane. Now we'll go into the sectional. One, he holds it there. Hammerhead. Two, he holds it there. Kicking in rudder once again is number three. And number four, the sectional hammerhead coming back down once again. Now as he departs off to the left, we will get two points of an eight-point hesitation roll. We'll watch the wing-tipped smoke to come on. He will be igniting two grenades. There's two points of an eight-point roll. There's the snap roll on the way up. Now as he comes back down, picking up the horizon once again, he'll do a maneuver once again that was not possible several years ago. This is the very difficult reverse standing S. He'll draw out the figure S in the sky the hard way. From the ground up, the power to weight ratio will certainly show in this maneuver. As right about in here, not content to finish that S, he still has more in the Bud Light 200 as he pulls back once again, still getting altitude, still having enough speed across the wings to fly the airplane. The very difficult standing S routine. And now we'll, we'll be listening for Leo. You're loud and clear, Leo. How's the air up there today? Watch this as Leo goes nose over tail over nose over tail. The Lumpshavak, there it is, just like a toy airplane, spinning out of control. The Gillinger best Leo Lonslager Lumpshavak. How about a big round of applause for Leo? But he is not finished yet. Okay, now if you'll watch Leo very closely, you can see he has crew members heading out to the runway. The triple snap overhead, one, two, and three. On the other side of the Blue Angels airplanes, you will see the pole holders. Leo will be coming in from his left to pick up the ribbon. One way, you'll see the pole holders with the poles up. Leo will fly between those poles, break the ribbon, but he will do it. Upside down as he goes to the inverted flight position to gear up towards the sky. Leo's head down towards the concrete of the runway as the tail gets ever lower. Lower and lower, watch for the
the wingtip direction as he boats that rudder and gets the ailerons in there, lines up for the last time and right about in here snags the ribbon and does the staff roll right about in here so that you can read Bud Light right off the deck picking up that ribbon and going directly into the snap roll. Leo Lonslager, the inverted ribbon pickup into the snap roll. We're special thanks to Bud Light people, our Cleveland area distributor for the Budweiser products is, of course, the House of La Rose. The and he is setting up for final approach. Now, this is not the way the amateurs do it. This is not the way even the professionals do it. But this is what we call the Leo the Looper landing. Once again, he is on final approach. You say maybe he's too high and he's too fast. Well, remember, we are talking to the seven-time national aerobatic champion. We are talking to the world aerobatic champion, Leo Ladenslager. We are talking about the man that won sports prestigious Victor Award and is in the New Jersey Aviation Hall of Fame. Still on final approach, rolling the airplane all the way around. One, two, and three. There he goes to knife edge flight. Still knife edge, still fast, but as he comes in now, he'll side slip the Bud Light 200 right above the runway as he's done so many times. As the speed leads off, just above the wing stalling out, the beautiful Bud Light 200 touchdown. Leo Lonslager, and you have seen him on the air show circuit in Cleveland and in other shows. Now watch Leo's airplane, the Bud Light 200, as the airplane does a little bow right there. Not content to give Leo a bow. Somebody will help him with that canopy. It will come off in just a moment. We have a runner going up there. Now, Leo, out of the airplane. Let's give him a big Cleveland round of applause. Leo, Bud Light 200, truly the American the world looks up to. Up Navy Blue Angels, we still have a tremendous amount of air show. Left